Have you ever wondered how the world's largest living lizard, the Komodo dragon, reproduces? That's our topic today, and it's a journey that's as intriguing as the creature itself. These behemoths native to Indonesia have a unique and fascinating approach to reproduction, one that's filled with mystery and marvel. Komodo dragons are not just known for their size and strength, but also for their unusual reproductive strategies. These strategies include fierce battles, elaborate courtship dances, and even the ability to reproduce without a mate, a process known as parthenogenesis. And then there's the mating season, a time when the usually solitary dragons come together in a dance of life and survival. It's a period that's as dramatic as it is crucial for the survival of this species. So are you ready to explore this wild and wonderful side of the Komodo dragon? Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of Komodo dragons mating season. The mating season of Komodo dragons begins in July, an exciting time in the world of these massive creatures. As the warm winds of summer sweep across the Indonesian islands, home to the world's largest lizard, a dramatic spectacle unfolds that would rival any daytime soap opera. Male Komodo dragons, usually solitary creatures, begin to emerge from their isolation. They start to roam more extensively, their senses alert to the subtle signals that females are ready to mate. This is not a process rushed, but a period marked by patience and anticipation. As the males traverse the rugged terrain of their habitat, they leave behind scent markers, a kind of olfactory calling card, signaling their readiness to compete for the right to mate. This is more than a mere invitation. It's a challenge thrown to rival males. Soon, the air is thick with tension as male Komodo dragons converge on the scent markers. The stage is set for one of nature's most primal and visceral contests, male combat. This isn't a mere show of strength or a simple wrestling match. It's a fierce and often brutal battle where the stakes are high. The males, standing on their hind legs, grapple with each other, using their massive tails for balance. They wrestle, trying to pin one another down, their sharp claws and powerful jaws ready to inflict damage if necessary. It's a spectacle that's as fascinating as it is fearsome. These battles can last for hours, a test of endurance, strength, and determination. It's a ritual as old as the species itself, a necessary part of the Komodo dragon's mating season. The victor earns more than just bragging rights. He wins the privilege, the honor, to mate with the receptive females. Now that the stage is set, let's explore what happens when a male Komodo dragon has won the right to mate. Winning a fight is only the first step the male Komodo dragon must now woo his potential mate. The courtship dance of Komodo dragons is a fascinating demonstration of strength, agility, and patience. It is an intricate dance of dominance and submission, where the male must prove his worthiness to the female. The male Komodo dragon will approach the female slowly, keeping a cautious distance. His movements are deliberate, calculated, and filled with intent. He will start by flicking his forked tongue out, tasting the air, gauging the female's receptiveness. This is a crucial part of the courtship process as it allows the male to assess whether the female is ready to mate. The female Komodo dragon, on the other hand, is not a passive participant in this dance. She will often play hard to get, testing the male's persistence and determination. She may snarl, hiss, or even try to bite the male to dissuade him. This is not an act of aggression, but rather a test for the male. She wants to ensure that he is strong enough, determined enough, and resilient enough to be her mate. If the male passes this test, he will then begin the next phase of the courtship process. He will slowly start to circle the female, keeping a respectful distance. He will then gradually move closer, rubbing his body against hers. This is a sign of submission and respect, a way for the male to show the female that he means her no harm. Then comes the climax of the courtship dance. The male will mount the female, wrapping his tail around hers. This is a delicate process that requires precision and balance. If the female accepts his advances, she will remain still, allowing the male to complete the act. However, the dance doesn't end there. The male must remain vigilant, as the female could still reject him at any point. He must continue to show his strength and determination until the very end. Once the female accepts the male's advances, the actual process of reproduction begins. Komodo dragons, like all reptiles, reproduce by laying eggs. But there's more to this process than meets the eye. 
The act of reproduction is a fascinating display of nature's magic, and it all begins with the male Komodo dragon identifying a receptive female. The male will approach the female carefully, using his forked tongue to pick up the scent of her pheromones. This is a crucial part of the process, as it signals to the male that the female is ready to mate. Once this signal is received, the male will initiate the mating process. The male Komodo dragon mounts the female, aligning his body with hers. He then uses his tail to lift the female's tail, allowing him to insert one of his two hemipenes, or reproductive organs, into the female's cloaca. This act is not without its challenges, as the female may resist if she's not fully receptive. Following successful mating, the female Komodo dragon sets about preparing a nest for her eggs. She will dig a hole in the ground, often in a secluded spot, to protect her offspring from potential predators. The nest is typically one to three feet deep, providing a safe and warm environment for the eggs to incubate. Once the nest is ready, the female will lay her eggs. She can lay anywhere from 15 to 30 eggs at a time, each about the size of a grapefruit. These eggs are leathery and tough, designed to withstand the harsh conditions of the Komodo dragon's habitat. The eggs are then carefully covered with dirt and debris by the female, disguising the nest from predators. This act is a testament to the maternal instincts of the Komodo dragon, demonstrating her dedication to the survival of her offspring. After the eggs are laid, the female Komodo dragon has one more critical task. Komodo dragon mothers are fiercely protective of their eggs, guarding them against predators and even other Komodo dragons. This maternal instinct is a fascinating spectacle to behold, as these mighty creatures become the ultimate guardians of their future offspring. After laying her clutch of eggs, a Komodo dragon mother will immediately take on the role of protector. She will carefully bury her eggs in the earth, hiding them from the prying eyes of predators. But her job doesn't end there. This vigilant mother will stay nearby, her sharp senses always on alert for any impending danger. You see, the threats to these precious eggs aren't just from outside the Komodo community. In a twist of nature, other Komodo dragons, including males, can pose a risk to the unhatched offspring. This means that the mother must be ready to defend her eggs from her own kind, a task she undertakes with a fierce determination. But the guarding mother's role extends beyond mere defense. She also ensures the optimal conditions for her eggs' development. She continually monitors the temperature of the nest, shifting the eggs as needed to maintain a stable environment. Despite her formidable size and strength, the mother is not invincible. She may have to contend with other large predators, such as birds of prey, who have a taste for Komodo eggs. And then there's the weather. Heavy rains can flood the nest, endangering the eggs. These are the challenges she faces in her tireless endeavor to protect her future babies. The dedication of the Komodo dragon mother is a testament to the power of natural instinct and the drive to perpetuate the species. Each egg she protects holds the potential for a new life, a new member of the Komodo dragon community. The journey from egg to hatchling is fraught with danger, but the reward is the continuation of this unique species. The guarding mother, with her unwavering vigilance and fierce pr protection, plays a crucial role in this intricate dance of life. From the start of the mating season to the hatching of the eggs, the reproduction process of Komodo dragons is a fascinating cycle. This is a journey that begins with a dance, a courtship ritual that determines the strongest suitor. From there, we move to the act of reproduction itself, a moment that marks the start of new life. But it doesn't end there. The mother Komodo dragon, in her infinite wisdom and instinct, guards her nest with ferocity, ensuring the safety of her offspring. This is a testament to the lengths nature will go to preserve its own. It's a cycle that repeats itself year after year, generation after generation, in an unending circle of life. Each stage is essential, each moment vital, painting a picture of survival, strength, and the sheer wonder of nature. Next time you see a Komodo dragon, remember the incredible journey each one has taken from egg to adulthood.